Hello everyone. Today is another sad day for my channel. And it's very similar to a certain day that we had, I think this time last year. And I'm parting with my Power Mac G4 MDD. This is the second MDD in the space of about a year and a half that I've let go. It's a great machine, don't get me wrong, it's really, really great. But I have no use for it. I have use for the money that I'll get for it, and I think someone else out there will have a really good use for it. So, in this video it's going to be very, very similar to the last one. Um, I'm basically going to reinstall Leopard. I know uh, you guys have seen me install Leopard loads and loads of times, but I just thought it's an excuse for another Mac related video and uh, it should be pretty fun. I'm up in the music room as you can see and yes, I know I'm going to get loads of comments but there is going to be a, t a tour very soon. So that should be cool. Um, just to give you a few reasons then why uh, I'm getting rid of it. First of all, this is for music related tasks. and. Um, I know I had people warning me when I first got the Mac, but I didn't quite take it seriously enough, and I should have done. But the fan noise is just too loud. It is very, very loud for any type of recording. The only way I'd be able to do any serious recording is if I put the Mac outside of the door and run all the cables in and used it like that, which is just truly annoying. So I won't be doing that. It's a very loud machine, and yes, you can get the quieter power supply for it, but I've already bought one power supply for it. Should have got the quiet one, but I just didn't think. Um, I think to get a quiet power supply, it would cost me quite a lot of money, maybe about 80 quid on eBay, so I really can't spend that much on this old Mac, which is unfortunately dying technology. It's a G4, it's from 2002, and yeah. We're just moving on from PowerPC. So that gives you a brief idea. Um, I'll, I'll just go back to using my PowerBook um, like I did before. And because school's coming to an end and we're in the summer, I'm not going to need to do any kind of intense music production. So uh, it won't be much of a problem. So thanks for watching and let's get on with the video. So for this video, everyone, we've got a little bit of uh, music to help us along as usual. It's become a slight tradition on my channel. We've got Simple Minds at the moment. But I've got a big stack of other stuff down there that we can try out. Also, to go with the music to help us with this video, we have Leah. Hello. She's joining us and she's gonna help us install Mac OS X onto the MDD. Here's the MDD. Here's Leah. And here's the sounds. So, I've got my usuals. My... Um, burned discs. I've got OS X Leopard and iLife 08. I must have used these a good um, six or seven times now on various different Macs. Um, but yeah, before we get into any of that, I'm just gonna do a load of boring stuff. Um, I've got my hard disk here, I'm gonna make some backups. But this video is gonna be quite interesting also. It's not just an OS X installation. We're gonna take out some of the upgrades that I did. We're leaving in things like the USB 2.0 card, the airport card, the um, the two hard disks, but we're going to take out um, a couple of the fan modifications I did, and also the front USB modification because I've sold it to my mate James for a fiver, so that'll actually uh, be pretty cool. But anyway, we're going to. Uh, I'm just going to run downstairs and grab a screwdriver because we need to do all that now. Okay, so we've backed everything up. All we're going to do now is shut it down. So I'm going to do my awesome left-handed mouse skills. Obviously, major sarcasm. And we're basically going to um, wait for this to shut down and then unplug it and take everything out that we don't want. So you can see how heavy this thing is. It's actually made dents in the carpet, the sort of shape of smiley faces, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's all the cables for it. And we've got it out. So if you want to see the upgrade videos for this, they are on... Um, they are on YouTube. Basically all I did is uh, filled up the PCI section. I put in this cooler, which is a cheap cooler. Um, it's very rattly and whatnot, as you can see, but it does shift so much hot air out the back. Uh, airport card. This is actually um, um, basically like a third-party airport extreme card. Here's where your normal airport card would go. 
but that only gives you wireless B, this gives you uh, wireless G as well. There's my USB 2.0 card hiding down there, and you can see I've got a USB 2.0 cable running all the way through to um, the five and a quarter inch bay where I've got a front USB mod which is actually quite funky. Um, you can see it, I think I put it in the top one, there it is, it gives you four S USB ports in there. Um, you can only use the two top ones because the flap's in the way, but hey, it was just a sort of experiment and it only cost me about five in total, which is pretty cool. Here's a graphics card, two gigs of RAM, um, I believe this is a 9000 Pro with 64 megs of VRAM. You've got an 80 gig down there which is cooled, um, I'll probably leave that cooler on. You know, it's doing no harm, and I guess it's doing some good. And another 80 gig over there, so 160 gigs in this machine in total. And also, we have a super drive here. And there's the power supply that I placed. So I've got a lot of videos on this Mac. Um, feel free to take a look at them. So we're going to start with pulling out this fan over here. Because I think, if anything, it'll just decrease the value. I mean, it's a cheap component that I like to use, but lots of people would see this kind of thing as an annoyance. Um, so here's the PCI slot fan. You can get expensive versions of these which are higher quality but what I like about this one is you can pull off the bracket and you can actually put it whatever, you, whatever way you want. It comes this way but because the MDD is built backwards and the PCI slots are at the top of the case instead of the bottom then you need to be able to flip it around. So there's that fan. Fairly decent. I'm keeping the airport and the USB card in here because um, big, big selling points. But obviously, I'll be unplugging this um, because, like I said, I'm taking out the USB modification. Okay, so we need to take out the optical drive bay to take out my little USB mod, which I don't think uh, people would care for that much. A lot of people buy these uh, Power Macs to upgrade themselves, and the last thing they want is to buy a fully upgraded one already. Um, a nice upgrade left to do in this machine is the graphics card. Um, the 9000 Pro 64 meg is quite weak. And you can get a 9800 Pro 128 meg for a pretty good price now. Uh, so you really can't complain. So let's just unplug everything from back here. Got the IDE cable for the optical drive. Got various power connections. It only all just fitted in here, so... There you have it, I've finally got all the connections out. And we can close up the Mac for now, because we're done in there. Obviously it's not gonna close because of that giant mess of cables. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So, let's tip this out the front. We're going to put that optical drive cage back in in a minute. But here you can see what I did. Now I'm basically going to talk you through this. Um, here we have a three and a half inch um, four USB port thing that you just plug into your PC. It takes a Molex connection. It only needs two pins, so I guess you could just like shove them straight into the back. You could share it from your optical drive if you wanted, I guess. Um, and then you can see a standard USB connection in the back here like you do for a printer. So all I did was buy this normal USB cable. Uh, I didn't even buy it, I just found it in the drawer probably. Just going from that to that and I used this uh, regular USB on the internal 2.0 port in the Mac. And then I just bought this 5.25 adapter of course, um, which just adapts any 3.5 inch bay to a 5.25 inch bay, which is pretty cool. Well, I've sent Leah downstairs to hunt for um, one of my old PCI slot covers. I have got some for the MDD with these holes in. Um, but yeah, we've got this ready to put in. And uh, the reason I want to put this back is just, you know, if you just sell it in nice condition and whatnot, you know, it looks as if it's been looked after, not just leaving gaping holes in the back of it. You know, I mean, it all adds to the general nice sort of customer service that you can give, I guess. I keep finding more and more stuff in this Mac that I just shoved in there. I'd forgotten I'd upgraded it so much. Um, but here's a Molex extension cable that I use for the fan. Um, so yeah, this is pretty cool. This will come in handy. Um, this is all stuff to put back into my uh, geek boxes and whatnot. And um, yeah, so I'm going to stop babbling on now and I'm just going to get that optical drive back in there as quick as possible so we can get Leopard on the go. One negative to an attic room is the temperature. 
it is getting warm up here and I've got the fan going on full blast warm okay Ooh, let's take a look at the progress about a minute looking good and I've plugged you into the uh, the main sound system for the installation video um, which is only coming through two speakers at the moment actually that one over there let's just have a bit of a zoom good use of features on my camera sorry about the mess in the room by the way guys it will be tidy when you have the tour and we're using this one down here but we're not using this one okay I'm really over using the zoom now and we're not using the one over there that you can see in the distance but anyway ooh, we've restarted any second now There you have it, a successful install. I'm going to enter all of this information now and I'll be back with you when we're at the desktop. So here we are at the Leopard desktop, everything's at default which is really cool. So iLife is just installing, uh, what does that say? We don't really want to register online right at this second. Okay so iLife is installing. And this always takes forever, so it's pointless me filming the entire process. I think everyone would get quite bored. So that concludes it for my video. A little bit of a sad video, as usual, when uh, we're parting with a Mac. But a video for good cause, because the money will obviously go towards more geeky stuff for your enjoyment and for your, uh, yeah, your enjoyment to watch, basically. So uh, thanks very much to Leah, our assistant for today. And, um, yeah. I'll see you in the next video.